Hey, hey, howdy, y'all. Good morning. Here we are again. We are going to do something fun and interesting today. We are going to compare what a system uh, running 5090, uh, we're going to run Llama 370B, a 40 gig model. So we're going to run it three times. The first instance we'll be running with the 5090 alone. So we're going to offload some of the layers of the model to the system RAM. And this setup again is an X870E Tai Chi Lite. We've got an AMD 9700X and we have 64 gigabytes of 6,000 megahertz DDR5 in there. And we are running Windows 11. And the second time we're gonna run the model, we're gonna throw another, a second card in there, uh, an RTX 5080. And then we're going to run it a third time with an RTX uh, 3060 12 gig model. And we are going to compare uh, the speed differences. I have a benchmark set up, uh, something that AI wrote for me. And all it does is asks uh, the model a question. It asks, explain the fundamental principles of quantum computing, including superposition and entanglement, and discuss the primary challenges in building a large scale quantum computer. It asks it that, and then it waits for a complete and total response uh, from the model. And it measures uh, time to the first token, and then the total tokens per second. So without further ado, let's get our Olama API launched. And we will begin serving with only the 5090. So let's see here. GPU is going to get... 28 gigs loaded out of 32. And what I want to check is how many layers, 60 of 81 layers went to the GPU. So that means our system RAM did take a big bump there. We went from, I don't know, about 10 gigs. Well, it's a 40 gig model and it's a 32 gig card. So uh, you can do the math. Our CPU is going to be pinged and, and poking along during this. It is going to be worked. I suspect that we're going to see a drastic improvement when we throw a second card in here. But we shall see. We're running right at 270 watts with the 5090 and a good portion of our model in system RAM. So that CPU is getting getting worked. Typically the CPU stays about five or six percent when the model is fully loaded onto the GPU. So we're going to let this thing run and I'll catch back to you at the end. All right, we're finishing up on the last uh, iteration of our benchmark here with the 5090. Again, we're only pulling to 270 watts. I mean, I'm really surprised, honestly. This is... um. So you spend all this money to get a 5090. If you have to offload any of your model, look, we're only running 20%, 16%. CPU is chugging along. Just what a hit. If I run the 32B model, which is substantially, that's a 32 billion parameter model. If you haven't been following along, uh, I mean, we've been testing dual GPU setups. It's never really occurred to me, hey, let's just throw any secondary card in there and see what we can do. So we're running a 70 billion parameter uh, four bit quantized model here, the Llama 3 70B uh, with a Llama. And my goodness, it it's critical. If you have to offload any of your model to your system RAM, the penalty is real. We're not even getting five tokens a second. And again, I, I, here's here's the script. I'll put, I'll put this in the description. It's a Python script. It basically interacts with the LLM on my behalf. It asks, uh, explain the fundamental principle of quantum computing, which I read earlier. And then it sits back and waits for the model uh, to respond in full. And then it measures the speed of the tokens and how long it takes to get a response on that first token. 
and goodness, if you, again, this is a 50-90, and we're getting less than five tokens a second. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do with a 50-80 in there, and then that 30-60. Um, I'm thinking that any GPU will do. Granted, this is DDR5, the 5080 and the 5090 are DDR7. 3060, I think it's DDR6. I don't know if it's 6X or not. Uh, but I, I did a test with dual RX 570s uh, in a much smaller model. So it's two 8 gig cards. They were running a 14 billion parameter and they were getting that speed. So let's, uh, let's boot her down and throw a second card in there and see what kind of results we get. Thank you. All right, guys and gals, we've got our 5080 set up here with our 5090. Quite a setup. And we are going to get serving. So get the API launched. Set up the benchmark. And let's see what happens compared. Whew, man, that's tough to see. I apologize. I'm going to get this. I have a vlog camera. I just haven't gotten set up yet. I apologize for that. Uh, but you can see that it is getting some usage. We're spinning up, getting hot. 600 watts or so. And I'll be back with the results. My goodness. All right, the 5090, the 5080 running a Llama on a 70B model. It's running its last iteration just over 600 watts. Utilizing utilizing each GPU, 45 to 50%. Nothing went to RAM. Mucho improvements. Let's keep that, uh, keep that model, a large language model out of system RAM. That's my two cents. All right, this, in order to run the system with the 5090 and the 3060. By default, Olama will attempt to offload two of the model layers to the system RAM, which is a critical hit to the performance of running the two GPUs. It will fit on there, but you have to force it to. So here's how you get around that. Uh, open up Notepad. Again, I'm on Windows 11. Uh, copy this information. And the important thing is to save it and you can't save it as a text file. So if, when you're putting in the, uh, the name of the file that you want, put it in print or quote it. And then when you save it, it's just a blank file. It's not a text file. And when you do that, you will have a file that looks like this. And it's not a text file. It just says file. And then you can have a llama create a new um, command to load the llama 370b and it will force all of the layers to go onto the gpus instead of offloading to uh, to system ram and that way you get the most speed uh, possible it does run the risk of erroring out and cache the kv uh, flash filling up but once you've done that you will see that all of the layers, 81 of 81, loaded to GPU. Previously, without this little hack, um, 79 of 81 loaded to GPU, and the other two went to system RAM. But that's how you get, get around that little hiccup. All right, this go around. We've got our MSI Gaming X 3060 12 gig with the Asus Astral 5090. And we're going to get it set up here. We're going to set up our server. And again, be sure to launch the benchmark that does the number GPU 999 so that it forces all of the layers onto the GPUs. And what you're looking for to make sure of that is this little section. Well, let me find it. Right there. Offloaded. 81 of 81 layers to the GPU. If you've done that, you know you've set it up correctly. 
that means that all of the model is on the GPUs and none is on the system RAM. So our 5090 has just barely half a gig on there. And the 3060 has about two gigs. So hopefully we don't run into the cache threshold and our wattage in this setup, 530-ish. I'll be back with the results. All right, we're finishing up here with the 3060 paired up with the 5090. Uh, bad glare, sorry for that. 535 watts. What's interesting is that the second card does not get utilized at all. CPU is at a minimum. And not a bad result. A lot better than using system RAM. Throw a second card in there, guys.